Raise your hand if you're taking a physics class and you think it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah, you in the back by the computer. So here's the message I've got for you. Everything's going to be okay. Chances are someone in your past a long time ago, like that much time ago, told you some math and didn't quite get you enough practice with it or didn't tell you quite the right math in order to do the physics. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna address some common math oopsies. Here they are. Math oopsie number one. Here's what could go wrong. If, for instance, you're trying to do a division problem, and instead of dividing by the denominator, which is what you ought to do, you multiply by the denominator. Example of the problem, go. You want to do the problem 42 divided by 2 times 21. You type in 42 divided by 2 times 21. You hit enter and you're like, dang, 441. Should this be 441? No, you make babies cry when you write that down. Of course it's not 441. It's supposed to be, well, less than 42, definitely, right? And probably a lot like one, right? Not 441. So what went wrong here? You were trying to find x divided by y times z. You should divide by y and divide by z. So uh, one option is to, let's do second entry, and we'll go, instead of dividing by 2 and multiplying by 21, I'll divide by 2 and divide by 21. Oh, the answer is 1. Hooah! Or I could do second entry, and I could go up to the sucker, and I could say, let's, uh, let's, uh, oh, let's insert some parentheses, and then I'll multiply the denominator. And you see, I've taken the denominator and put that sucker in parentheses. Right now, it says 42 divided by the quantity 2 times 21, close parentheses. This will also equal 1, not 441. Great.